Yo, what's up guys, welcome to another video on my channel and in this video I want to talk how to start your SMA in 2018 Maybe you haven't seen already a lot of videos like this about how to start your agency, what you should do, what you shouldn't do But be sure to watch a complete video because I will show you the exact mistakes that we made at our SMA, so with our own SMA and how you can prevent these mistakes of happening to you and to your company. I will show you the exact steps that you have to take, what you need to start your SMA, how you have to get the right mindset and stuff like that, which is really important because in the beginning it's all about having the right mindset, because the only thing that matters in the beginning is sales. So you really need a good mindset for that, and I will show you that exactly in the video guys, so let's dive right into the video. Yo, before we go, wait a couple of seconds. Before we go, be sure to check the links in the description because if I mention the software or the tool, it's probably in there. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and set your post notifications on. So, let's dive right into the video, guys. So, as I said in the intro, guys, in this video, I want to talk about how to start your SMA in 2018. Starting SMA is really easy because it's an easy business model, but it can be really hard to succeed with your SMA if you don't have a clear plan, you don't have a business model, and yeah, because of that. Running SMA can be hard in the beginning, but after a couple of time you will you will end clients and it will be pretty. So what do you need when you're starting your SMA? You need some basic paperwork like contracts, outsource shit. There's a lot of things that you need when it comes to paperwork, but in the beginning you will just need the basic stuff. So then you need a legal company. Here we, here it's called the BVBI, it's for like just an easy company, just like like you have an LLC in the United States, just Set up a company so you are legal. So then you need a really good mindset because in the beginning your SMA will be really hard. Like you have to cold call, send cold emails, go to door to door, run pay the ads to get clients. Because in the beginning it's all what matters, getting clients. So the basic paperwork is really simple. You just need retainer, contract, credit card, authorization contract and after that we are also using a website sale contract so we are selling websites and we have a special contract for that and this is what we have so there's a lot of paperwork that you are doing but when it comes to contracts you don't need a lot of paperwork because when you are outsourcing things like on Upwork Upwork takes care of everything so that's also really good then you have to set up your legal company which is easy and you have the mind you need the mindset that is really important because if you don't understand in the beginning you have to do a lot of sales, you will really have a problem because doing sales is the only thing that matters in the beginning. So it is really important to know because you don't have to think about paid advertising, do the, doing lead gen campaigns, making a website, it all doesn't matter unless you have clients. So clients are the only thing that you should focus on in the beginning. So that is really important to know because your mindset is everything. So if I did it all over again, I would probably do it different because let's say in the beginning our SMA was horrible. So we started our SMA I think one year and a half ago, so we started five years ago, but we didn't get results. We are focused on really stupid shit, like we are making systems and processes for everything in our, <coughs> in our company, so we knew exactly what you had to do when we, had to, when we landed clients, but the problem was we weren't doing sales, so we were too afraid to cold call, we weren't sending emails because we had a really like weird task manager in the team like we were a three now we are a two which is way better and i was doing like research on companies and one of the three business partners had to do the OG so sent emails but he didn't do it so he didn't land clients it was really frustrating because i was making audits for clients and stuff like that because we thought lateral work really good but people didn't care about it so we didn't do outreach so we focused on building useless systems but we didn't do sales. So doing sales is really important in the beginning but because if you don't have sales, if you don't do sales, you don't have an income and if you don't have an income, you can't run your business. So we are focusing on software, 
systems all these useless shit so we really had a problem so after let's say six months I think we quit our SMA so yeah I was on vacation and we were thinking like okay we should just quit our SMA it's not working but we didn't really do anything to get results so then we started another company which went good but it was a music events company but after a couple of time it went bankrupt because we had a really bad event so our other company went bankrupt so that really sucked and you're thinking like okay how can we solve this so we restarted our SMA so me and my business partner from now we were going really hard sending a lot of cold emails going door to door contacting people on LinkedIn doing all the shit you had to do so we focused like 8 hours a day on sales and in the first month you made 1k which was cool but the second month you made already like 5 to 7k I think which was oh shit we were really yeah, we were amazed because we didn't make as much money with our music events company even after 6 months so it was really amazing for us even though everything was like one time so we are selling websites, web shops and stuff like that so this is how I would suggest like this is how we did it but I would never suggest to do the same thing so when you start your SMA don't focus on systems and software just go all in on sales make a lot of money and then when you have cash flow focus on the systems because you don't need them in the beginning so you don't need systems before your clients so this is how I would suggest to do it so if I restarted I would just focus on sales and when you had clients I would do systems so I, I would make processes, systems, get software and stuff like that so also one thing that's really important is to choose your business model early maybe you're thinking like SMA is a business model but yes and no you have a lot of different SMAs so there are a lot of different SMAs so there are a lot of different SMAs and what we are, we are a lead generation, lead generation SMA then you have an let's say Google AdWords agency because these are especially oops, the Google AdWords agency most of the time they don't do anything else in Google AdWords because they are really good at it and stuff like that then you have content creation agency and you also have advertising agencies and of course you have web design agencies so there are a lot of agencies that you can start with what we are doing is we are a lead generation agency and I really like it because we are just working with high-end clients and we are upselling them to other things we sell websites, we sell a lot of things but our main focus is lead generation so this is what we are doing and when you are starting your SMA I would just suggest like get some basic paper you can find it really easy start your company, work on your mindset so you can focus on sales a lot land a lot of clients and choose immediately which business model that you want like in the beginning I would suggest start with the advertising agency because you land, can land any single client and after that I would suggest to change to a lead generation agency because that's what we did and it's really easy so that's how we are running our SMA and you don't have to think that SMA is like the easiest company to run but it's a lot easier than let's say dropshipping so it's pretty easy but not that easy so that was the video for today guys I hope you learned something from it if you have a question drop it in the comments below I'll answer it and I'll see you tomorrow in another video guys